What's up, G.I. Joe fans? And Hall of Fame fans. G.I. Joe Hall of Fame fans. Welcome back. Today might be Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. And guys, we have a special treat for you today. I'm probably going to get in trouble for this one. <laughs> because I know so, uh, some of my detractors are already say that he doesn't take anything out of his box. Well, this guy is MIB, meant in box, and it's from 1995. And he's the G.I. Joe, the FAO Swartz exclusive G.I. Joe Navy SEAL limited edition with mission raft. And this set is absolutely massive. It's so big that the entire box that you're seeing houses the mission raft. And this section houses our G.I. Joe Navy SEAL. And yes, he's a Hall of Fame figure. Let's bring him down. Let's go and get a nice close-up of him. This is our Hall of Fame. He's on a Hall of Fame body, Hall of Fame head, sculpt, everything. This set came out in 1995. As you can see... Get a close up here. This gun. The rest of his equipment, hat, and other things, items are packed away with his mission raft on the other side of this box. I mean, on the other side of this panel right here inside the box. He's got his grenades right here, pistol holster. Canteen, this beautiful um, camouflage pattern, a camo cover pattern, pattern. It's beautifully done. Let's get you a blown out look here. The artwork is go absolutely gorgeous. This box is gorgeous. This is uh, from 1995, and I did not buy this from FEO Swartz. I bought this from a fellow. Uh, G.I. Joe collector back in 19, oh, 1997. So I bought, yeah, this was like, like, yeah, right around 1997, I bought this, this particular set. And I had been tracking this figure for a while, but uh, F.E.L. Swartz had sold out. There was only a, a certain amount of these made. I think mean, somewhere between uh, maybe uh, two to three hundred, something like that. It was some some crazy number, limited number, uh, were made exclusively for FEO Schwartz, and they said the wait on these were ridiculously long. And I remember that how many collectors uh, complained that they had it, they kept pushing the release date of this set back because they wanted to get it right. The mission raft has an outboard motor that really works. How cool is that? And we'll flip it around and let you see some pictures of that, uh, the actual mission raft. But um, the story goes that, you know, F.A.L. Schwartz, uh, kept pushing the release date back because they wanted Hasbro to kind of get some things right with the uh, the uh, outboard uh, motor and some other issues. And the price of these figures were going for a whopping, if I'm not mistaken, a whopping $85 when they were first released back in 1995. $85. So they were going to be one of the most expensive Hall of Fame G.I. Joe sets ever released. And you have to understand, this is before the classic collection 
1996 before the classic collection figures took over and the Hall of Fame uh, line kind of died off. So this was a massive uh, price tag for a very exclusive, a very limited, a very sought after figure set. Oh, guys, I want to give a quick uh, shout out to a uh, super subscriber. Her name is Lady Pop Hunter. And she is a awesome collector of everything from Funko Pops to He-Man. And I want to give her a shout out because she's an awesome collector. And she subscribed to my channel. I subscribed to hers. And just a really cool, a really cool collector. And definitely subscribe to her channel, guys. She's awesome. So I just want to give her a quick shout out. And I, I brought this up earlier uh, at the beginning of the uh, this uh, review. People didn't like this set for a couple reasons um for one the mitten box people had issues because they they, they didn't have a lot that they could show they wanted to be able to to, to display this particular um figure set and it was hard when you have everything encased so a lot of these sets did not survive being kept in this condition simply for that fact people wanted to display even the mib collectors wanted to display their figures but i was very fortunate to find a set that was still sealed and uh in beautiful beautiful condition let's turn this guy around well, here's a, a side shot of the box Got the with the motorized raft. And we'll get you a year. This, this box is massive. Here you go. We'll set we'll set it up and just get you a back shot. This is a back shot of the box. Here's a, a cargo hold stores gear needed for secret missions. Here's a working motor, propels mission raft through rough seas, and it uh, actually worked. I believe batteries were included. Oh, batteries. <laughs> batteries were not included. I'm sorry, guys. They were not included. So you had to buy your own batteries with this set, but it didn't make a difference. My uh, mission set uh, raft was not going to... Uh, make it to the high seas <laughs> so uh there'd be no problems but that's a that's basically a, a a picture of the actual mission raft with the outboard motor and there's a picture of our gi joe again Sketches. This was Kenner was still uh, producing these figures. 1995. Backstory there. Guys, what do you think of our Navy SEAL mission raft set? Let's sit this guy back down. And for Hall of Fame collectors, this was an absolute must. Um, you can get this guy. Once again, like I said, with anything, you can you can find this guy. 
in this type of condition, you're going to pay some money. But I've seen him on eBay go from anywhere from $125 uh, to $54. It depends on what type of condition you want this guy in. If you don't want him in this box or you want the box and the box could be battered and beaten up a little bit, damaged a little bit, then guess what? Um, you can get it for a little cheaper, you know, especially if you're just going to take him out of the box. But if you want him like this, chances are, you, you know, um, I would say, I would say anywhere from a hundred to $125. That's pretty fair for this set. It's a uh, exclusive. It's very limited. It's, um, it's very, very sought after in the GI Joe community and definitely with the hall of fame GI Joe fans that like the, the hall of fame figures. We did a GI Joe Hall of Fame exhibit a while back, and this was in my uh, archives uh, at the time. There's several more Hall of Fame figures we didn't have, but I just wanted to kind of keep it to to the G.I. Joe, Real American Hero type theme. So we have a ton of more um, Hall of Fame G.I. Joes, but we just wanted that particular exhibit was exclusively really for the real American hero type theme. So I know people say, well, man, we didn't see this one on there on that exhibit. And that's, that's the reason why. Beautiful figure though. I, I am just, uh, I've always been in love with the, with the uh, hall of fame figures. You can see he's locked in there beautifully. Still locked in there after all these years. I just love them. Like I said, yeah, a lot of people had a problem with those oversized hands and just the the big body style. Um, not a lot of articulation, but I love it. Uh, that's the charm to me. Uh, this is a historical piece of an integral piece of G.I. Joe's history. You couldn't bridge gap G.I. Joe's history from 96 all the way to the 2000s if you didn't have the Hall of Fame line because the Hall of Fame line jump-started the G.I. Joe 12-inch figure line again. And it propelled it into the the new millennium. So you needed the Hall of Fame line. Like I said, that's, they, they played a very integral part. So I know a lot of people don't like the, the Hall of Fame figures and stuff and for for you know a number of you know varied reasons but we here at MIB Master Museum you know we we want to preserve the historical uh value and history of uh of GI Joe Guys, we hope you enjoyed this video and review on our, our G.I. Joe F.E.L. Swartz Navy SEAL with Mission Raft figure set. We got more goodies headed your way. Uh, I'm going to go grab a cup of coffee. <laughs> it's uh, a nice rainy day here in Ohio, so... We'll be back, guys. You know the routine. God bless. And keep collecting.